<laughs> but for now, we're back with Melinda at South London's famous Riverley Ballrooms. For her third and final challenge, she's been thrown into the fiercely competitive world of tea dancing, where she's up against these beautifully preserved, well-dressed women to get a man. Her challenge is to have a gentleman ask her for at least one dance in her new guise. While they warm up the dance floor on the inside, Melinda is busy getting herself into character outside. Hello, my name's Margaret Doyle and I'm 72 years old. And I used to teach ballet and now I like to dance when I can. I have one daughter who I don't see very often. And um, a cat called Mr. Tom and my own teeth. To guide her through any tricky dance floor etiquette, she has been teamed up with Connie, a veteran tea dancer who knows Melinda's secret. Now, there aren't many very single men around here, are there? There's not, are there? No, it's not. The rules to tea dancing are simple but strict, and everyone takes it extremely seriously. Women must wait to be asked to dance, and under no circumstances should they ask a man first. Melinda's challenge is to be asked for at least one dance. It's an absolute nightmare because we will literally just sit there and nobody will come and talk to us. It's very guarded and that really surprised me because I was just expecting everybody to be quite open and, you know, and, and be here for a socialise and a mingle. But it's all, it's all almost like it's a bit more of a competition. An hour has gone by and still no one has asked Melinda onto the floor. Melinda then breaks the first golden rule of tea dancing and asks a man to dance. Come and join us. Come and join us. Have some fun. Come, come and join us. No? Well. Want to join us yet? With the failure of her final challenge now a distinct possibility, Melinda decides she must take drastic action to pull a man. That's really good. That's Mike's really about good. to attempt a stand-up comedy routine in front of a room full of trendy students, his worst nightmare. But he's refusing to change his old act of cheesy mother-in-law jokes and smutty one-liners. Meanwhile, Melinda is halfway through her last challenge. She's taking part in a tea dance, where her aim is to get at least one gentleman to ask her for a dance. But she's finding this much tougher than she thought it would be, and has decided to change her tactics. I reckon I should just go for some really good moves on the dance floor on my own and see what they all think, don't you think? Shall I just do that? Bugger it, let's do that. Once again, the irrepressible Melinda is unstoppable. She goes for broke. <laughs> Who's gonna come and dance? Come and dance. And fella. pulls a reluctant suitor onto the dance floor. <laughs> Little does this man know he's doing a rumba with a former page three stunner. Oh, you're cheeky. None of the other tea dancers seem impressed. But Melinda's got her dance. It's now time to explain the ruse. Secretly, there's been a celebrity here trying to pass herself off as someone more than twice her age. Maybe you noticed that her foxtrot was a little bit flat and her rumba was more than a little rough, but 80-year-old Margaret is really 32-year-old TV presenter, Melinda Messenger. Come up here, Melinda. <laughs> How much fun was that? That was brilliant. You've all been really good sports. Sorry if I look really scary or like something out of The Exorcist. So I had great fun. Thank you very much. Melinda may never have been asked to dance, but she doesn't care. She's totally fooled everyone into believing she's 80. You never know. Uh, oh, did fair. I fool you? Yeah. Did I really? Yeah. Oh, did you? She's a good coach, yes. And she knows just what it takes to make 